I want to share my story so I can help. Understand that it's okay to not be okay. It's time to talk. It's time to change. When I played football, that was my language. That's how I communicated. Um, and when that was taken away from me, um, I just felt like I was nothing. I was no one. You know, you got so much responsibility um, as an athlete to your team. You know, you got to play at a certain level. And um, your teammates counting on you. You got the pressure from the media. You know, when you experience the highs and obviously you're going to experience the lows, and it's, it's coping with the lows that is the most difficult part. When you know, I got into my, my state, I, it hit me like a brick. Was, was I that because I didn't of... tell anyone because I didn't want anyone to think differently of me. When I was playing rugby, my, my feet were not planted deep, they were mm. shallow. Anything was knocking me around and I felt like it was a balancing act. I had to fight against this, fight against this, fight against this and hold on and survive and you know, win a game and it was just, thank God for that, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I suffer from depression. Depression is with me on a daily basis. It is time for sport to accept its responsibility with this issue. There's records, there's numbers that I'm really close to, and of course I feel pressure, but I will play, I will fight, and I will keep going on. My thoughts of wanting to, to take my life, they don't define me, and, and they will never define me, and they'll never win. Struggles are gonna happen in life. You know, you're gonna get punched in the mouth at some point, but understand that you can get back up, and dust yourself off, and and get back out there. And everybody's going through something, and everybody, uh, you know, has things that you can't see, you can't touch, that um, you know they're walking around with every day. If your eyes hurt and you go to the opticians, if your head's hurt and you go and see someone about mental health, it'd be nice to just let it out rather than keeping it in. Because the more you keep it in, the more you explode. I don't know why I opened up and talked about it, but I, I guess I was just sick and tired of just having it inside of me for 20 plus years, and and I was ready to make a change. I'm glad I got through it.